Google is one big competition. You can never forget that. And this video will show you one of the most frustrating tactics you can use for SEO. Your opponents, which are the other websites you're competing against, will not like you for doing what I show you in this video. But a lot of people use it. And once you have the knowledge on how to use it, you can rinse and repeat because it's free to do. With the tools we have today, it's free to do. Now to get us into the mood, I figured we're gonna have a highlight of LARPin for a moment. Then we'll jump into the free tactics. So I hope that inspired you because now we have to get to our free tools, ChatGPT. Uh, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use ChatGPT4 with plugins, no plugins enabled. We need WebPilot. Let's get WebPilot on this thing. And let's say provide a list of websites that talk about philodendron, right? Philodendron. Uh, blogs or something like that. Let's just see what it comes up with because we need to identify our competition first. Furthermore, I don't want to waste time. I want to be quick. I respect your time. You respect my time. ChatGPT is agnostic to time. It doesn't know time, but it's pretty quick. So it helps us a lot. All right. So here's a list of websites that talk about philodendrons, including blogs and guides here, but not. Let's check this out. Okay. And aroids. I don't know how to say that. Anthuriums and philodendrons. Da da da. All right, all right, all right, here but not. Let's check this out. Very cool, very cool. Okay, have that one on the sideline. Illinois extension, don't need that. White Flower, Flower Farms blog, offer care tips for split leaf philodendron. Let's check this one out. Yes, very nice. Let's check these guys out. Oh, come on now. All right, we have something here. We have something here. Let's see what else it did. Bark and vine. All right, so we're going we're going really well right now. I'm going to show you another tactic. I'm going to give you a freebie. All right, here's the freebie. Use WebPilot and give me a list of websites I can guest blog for on the topic of bass fish. A different topic, same system. ChatGPT plus WebPilot. Crazy, right? It says, sure, here's a list of websites that might offer opportunities. Check this out. This is crazy. And I click on this one. Look here. Look at the URL. Guest blogger Lake Champlain. So all of a sudden, it's given us a list of things. It's not perfect, but it's like, look, they did a guest blog, so they probably are in tune with guest blogs. Give them a shout. That's a very, very easy freebie on the same setup we're going to use in this video. Coming back to ChatGPT, here but not was like a really good bet for us, right? This looked like a good website. It looks like a blogger's website, right? They're taking their own photos. They have display ads. So listen, if you have a website and you get traffic to it, right? We all know this, but I'm going to say it anyways. These display ads down here, like whatever that may be, um, it makes this person money passively very cool and on top of that you can sell things but i'm just kind of looking around we're kicking around we're learning okay these different things I, I i grow these two these could be good but what else could we do what we can do look up here site dot dot here but not dot com philodendron this is going to give us a result about 13 results it said of all the urls that that website has pertaining to this keyword. Now let's take it a step further and let's go to Harpa AI. Very easy to add to Chrome. Click here and it'll download it and let's have some fun. So what we're going to ask Harpa is provide the URLs of this SERP, which is search you know, engine results and the URLs only. Let's see if it can do a great job. And here we go. It's given us all the URLs. Do you see here? That is so powerful. It used to require paid tools to do this well, right? That wasn't hard to do at all. ChatGPT, WebPilot, Harpa AI, and a little dash of Google, and we're off to the races. Okay, here's our URLs, our competitors' URLs, easy peasy. Let's control C, all of them. Let's grab all of them. Because remember, if we know what our competitors are doing, it's like having a battle where everyone can see each other's maps, right? You cannot forget that. There is no fog of war in SEO. We can see what each other are doing. This is super cool. Let's take this. Let's push it to ChatGPT. Let's start a new one. Let's say provide um titles for each of these urls um let's take off let's go here ChatGPT 3.5 i forgot let's push it here sorry chat gpt all right cool and it's going to give us an idea of all 13 of them boom we're going to take these back we're going to push them here there we go i usually like to control shift v very nice. Someone taught that to me a while back in the comments. Now, next, what we're going to do, we're going to look at this URL right here, the row five, right? Let's look at row five. Let's push it here. And this is what it looks like. Philodendron, however the heck you say that, care and culture. Pretty cool looking plant. We're going to use Harpa AI. Harpa AI has a built-in SEO thing, and it's gotten better. You probably are like, I've already seen this, Jess. Yeah, but it's gotten better. So look, 
it instantly shows us page quality. It's low. It could do these things better. That's cool, but just watch until it runs out. Check this out. Done. You could say keyword cluster report or keyword strategy generator. Let's let's click on one of these and see what it does. Keyword strategy generator. Let's do philodendron wernery. How do you say it? Someone tell me in the comments. Facts, boom, related queries, boom, long tail keywords, boom. Hello, has anyone seen Harpa AI in a while? This thing is crazy. Do you see what's going on here? It doesn't stop. Jeez Louise, references and everything. Hello, wow. All right, so from that, we're like, okay, we have an idea. We know what we can write about. We know what we can write about, right? Sort of, sort of, we'll go a step further. But let me ask you, if I go to Google and I type in the keyword that this article is after, I wanna make sure I'm actually using an article to kind of trail, to coast behind. You ever seen geese in the air? They're all flying together. There's one in the top, you know, in the head, the spearhead one, you know, the one in the front. Well, anyways, I want to make sure I'm, I'm targeting the one in the front. But let's jump into the new portion of Harpa. Let's come down here where it gets yellow. So this was, look here, it says, let's go down. I'll show you exactly where it was. The keyword strategy generator. Please enter a keyword. And we did. And this, what it, this is what it came up with. It came up with one, two, three, four, five, six different frequently asked questions. And they're pretty darn good. I've done a lot of research on this niche, and these are really good. Um, so let's keep going with it. Oh, seven of them. Uh, related queries. These could be perfect headers, like perfect headers for this uh, article. Uh, the Care Guide, Expert Tips for Healthy Growth and Cultivation. I'm telling you, that's a really good title. You have to be using this Harpa plugin. It's gotten better. Long tail keywords, how to care for it, indoors. Okay, nice. We're going to see if we can use these. And then it gave us this chart here, the keyword frequency, the type, intent, and recommendation. Pretty darn cool, right? House plant humidity. Um, it's saying this is type. Um, is it an LSI or NLP? I don't know what they mean by natural language processor compared to LSI. But anyways, it gives us recommendation on slug. How cool is that? Entities. I mean, they're going at pretty darn far into the NLP thing. And then a meta description, meta title, um, even a page excerpt. Wow, look at this. They're telling us, check out these references. Now, I don't know if I'd be linking to the spruce. Listen to me. Do not link to your competitors in your blog post. It kind of defeats the purpose. And this one right here, let's see if this, this carries over as a real URL. This will be interesting. Let's go right here. It is. So somehow Harpa is pulling real URLs. This is kind of cool, but that URL right there, philodendron plant guide, it wasn't good because that's a totally different one. But there were some things that we could use here. So here it is. I've never seen this before. So cluster topics overview. All right. So philodendron care and culture growing it. Is this just the headers? Is this the headers of this page? Let's go here. Let's go here to headers. If I don't think it is. No, it's not. It's like it's given us headers as if the person actually had good Headers. Very interesting. Jeez Louise, we could use that for sure. All right. Markdown table cluster keywords. The table's kind of messed up. Let's go back over here. It didn't format too well. Let's come down here. Let's look. Cluster. All right. Keyword. Filled in care and culture. Uh, the first portion I liked a little bit better. I don't know what the heck that word means. Herbivory protection is the keyword. I don't know about all that. All right. Let's keep going with it. Let's go past this. Let's see here. Search intent classification, information, all keywords fall under the informational, great, semantic clusters. All right, work with me here. Plant care and culture, philodendron, okay. Tips for growing, variants and species, large leaf type, mini form, eh. Okay, but I'll tell you what, this one right here, this top portion, cluster topics overview, this is really good because these could be really good headers. And listen to me, that's exactly what we're going to use them for. I had five more minutes of just me trying to struggle with Harpa plus ChatGPT. Sometimes we just need to take a step back and be like, okay, we have the information we need. How do we use it? How do we put this into practice right now and get going? So I'm going to show you what I'll do. Grab these headers and let's roll with it. So let's come over to Word Galaxy. This is the quickest way to get a lot of content, just a lot of content. Let's push the headers here. All right, we have an idea of what we want to talk about. Boom, let's grab this. Let's say, let's make the, the keyword title care guide, All right? Now that Keywords, the additional keywords, let's just leave that alone for now. We don't need to inject anything. I just want to see how this article comes out. All right, now it's spinning. Now we have to wait a second. And just like that, it took about two minutes to run. Here is our big old article off of Word Galaxy. Let's copy and paste this. 
into a Google Doc. I want to do Control C. That's 3,200 words. It probably cost us one or two cents. But here's the point of this whole video. If you can identify your competition, right? It's so easy to do that now. Just identify your competition. Then you can run through tools like Word Galaxy. There's other tools as well that do a great job. And you can emulate these people's site structure, right? We know that this website right here ranks for certain words like this, this specific philodendron. Well, what else are they ranking for? Let's take all of these. You can use Harpa to get an idea of how should I write this. There's other tactics to do too. If you want to get even further, check out this video. So this would take a step back. If you want to start at keyword research and work down instead of identifying competitors first, this is a great video to check out. It parlays exactly into what I just shown you here. You can use the same tactics. It's synergistic and it works together. So I hope you like this video. Please uh, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you have going on. And uh, yeah, I'll check you on the next one.